Hello everybody. Today I'm going to do several reviews. Received a sample of Pedal Pusher Fancy's Black Tea and uh, I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to be doing a review of a new brush that I've gotten. A Frank Shaving Pure Tech 28 millimeter synthetic brush. This is the fourth generation synthetic. I've already done one test lather with it and uh, I like it a lot. But it's got something got some unique properties. Uh, just to show in comparison, this is uh, 24 millimeter frank shaving. I think this is a third generation synthetic. I don't know if we can pick up and get the light just right on this. A little bit different coloration, a little bit different texture as far as the knot goes. Uh, you can definitely tell that the difference between the third and fourth generation synthetic uh, from frank shaving it, it's just a little bit softer. It's softer to the feel. They've got similar backbone. A real similar backbone. And I'm also going to do a review of the Kai Double Edge Blade. Now Kai's come in just a real vanilla wrapper. No branding whatsoever on the blade. And I'm going to be putting that in my favorite razor, which is my vintage Jinja razor head on a, a Toro Mast of Cordo handle. Kai blades are, are pretty sharp. This is the second use of this blade. Used it so it should be right dead into its high performance of, of a second shave. And let's see. Reviews. Pedal Pusher Fancy, Kai Blade, Frank Shaves Brush. I don't even know it's a little bit different. I've, I've just gotten out of the shower. And usually when I get out of the shower my hair is all kind of frizzy. I've been trying some Tres Flores Brilliantine hair hair tonic, hair groom, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just a little bit. I've just been putting a little bit. I haven't you know, used it every day, but it does do a little bit of control and help out. And also too, I'm going to finish it up with Stetson Cologne and Aftershave. So, to get going, I'm going to just drop this in a little bit of in the water and let it soak for just a second. Although most people say, well, you don't need to soak a uh, synthetic, and you don't really, but I do usually. Just more out of habit. And I'm going to use just that much Pedal Pushers Fancy because synthetics, you're supposed to be able to whip up a really good leather. And I've heard that Pedal Pushers Fancy Soaps is pretty good in volume. So we'll check that out. If I need to add more later, I will. So, water on the brush, shake it out, and start. I've face lathered with this. Pure Tech brush, and uh, it did pretty well. It did pretty well. You, know, you have to manipulate the the synthetic fibers a little bit to uh, get it to splay right. But it, it's not bad. It's a little bit softer than the other synthetics that I've tried as far as backbone goes. Not quite as heavy. A little bit more water. I 
And I like using a, a wooden bowl. I really like using a wooden bowl when I bowl leather. Uh, I'll use you know regular glass or ceramic bowls or, or stainless steel at times. But just for some reason I think the texture of a wooden bowl gives that little extra that you don't get with just a straight slick bowl. The smell, it's a very, very nice, pleasant, mild, earthy tea aroma. Just a little bit more water. There we go. I washed my face with an oat oat soap in the shower. Just a little bit of wetness there. And here we go. The cut blades are very, very smooth. I just briefly looked these blades up and could find them online at Razor Blades and more. If you hear banging in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, I can hear it. My neighbor, whose house is only about 10 feet away, has a piece of metal on back of their back porch awning that's banging in the wind. So, if you hear that, that's what it is. First pass, pretty good, pretty good. Kai blade, very, very efficient. Um, let's see, I think the price that Razor Blades and More currently has on Kai Blades is uh, 10 for $6. And I think they got 50 for 30 and hundred for 60 if I remember right second pass across the grain is up and down for me
Hmm. That's damn fine change level already. The only place I would need to do touch ups to get baby butt smooth is right there. And that's what I'm going to do. Pedal pushers fancies. Pretty slick. That little spot right there. It has a nice aroma that is carried throughout the shave, but it hasn't been overwhelming. Just it's been present. Almost got myself on my finger. You see that I go over where I've already shaved before, which some people just go, oh, that's not kosher. I don't care. If I'm using a good soap, and this is a good soap, there's going to be enough residual slickness underneath that I can go over it immediately. Sometimes I can just, just add a little bit extra water, and that revives that slickness, and you can go over it again. It's just the way it is. And it works for me. It may not work for you in that same way. You may get irritation if you go over without lather. But hey, did they write the book for you about shaving? No. You write your own book for you about how you shave. I'm just showing you here how I shave and trying to give you some points. So, we're all very good. Stetson, I'll just put a little splash of the aftershave on. I'll put the cologne on later. The aftershave is a little bit lighter in color, a little bit milder in aroma. It's got a musky, spicy scent that is just wonderful, and I love it. Got this for Christmas. So, to review. Pedal Pushers Fancy. Shaving soap, very, very good. I like it. And I'm dropping it. Very good, slick, nice cushion. Uh, I'd buy it. Frank Shave. Pure Tech Brush. I read some reviews online about it. It's been out for a, a, a while, a few years, a couple years at least. Any synthetic is going to be easy to clean up. What I found with this is that because the tips of the fibers are, are split and so soft, you have a hard time rinsing them out and saying, yep, I got all the soap out. Because they do hold water, even though it is a synthetic. And they do hold that lather in there. And you'll see right there after rinsing it out, get the light just right. You know, it, it, it acts like a badger brush, kind of clumping. And uh, where's my towel? Just dry it off in a towel a little bit. And what I found is you dry it off with the towel, then you look at it again, and if you see it kind of clumping everything, that, that means maybe you need to rinse it a little bit more. The big, huge 28 millimeter knot on this, I like it. I think I might like a smaller version of it, even better, maybe. I don't know. I, even though I, I love my big brushes, I'm, I'm getting a fond um, attachment to some of my smaller brushes. The Kai Blade. Great blade. Two and a half pass baby butt smooth, and when I say baby butt smooth in my shaves, it's not the ultimate 
that I can run a, a cotton ball over Baby Bet Smooth. It's that that I can rub my hand over it now and I feel very, very little, very, very little stubble. By the time my face cools down, I apply my aftershave and I've had an appropriate dry down, it will be smooth. I can't do any to the touch indications that I've got stubble. But, you know, really the true cotton test baby butt smooth is a pretty rare thing. And uh, just for some of those that you may notice, the furnace kicks on. The You may hear bubbles occasionally, kind of gurgling. Right over here, on the other side of the, the mirror, is my hot water heater and my furnace for this portion of my house. I've got two furnaces, two hot water heaters in this, this house. So if you hear that, now you're hearing sirens. I'm just within a few, uh, about a block from a main street here in Dell City, Oklahoma. And I've got a street that goes right in front that, that's got some pretty heavy traffic. Not the ideal location. I wish I was out in the country, but I'm not. But uh, overall, products work very, very well. I enjoyed all these products. I would recommend every one of them to you. So, until next time, have some good shaves. Try to be happy every day because it's your attitude that makes the difference as to whether a day is good or whether a day is bad. But regardless, be safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.